Time for Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, we had our fans out this weekend. We had our water out this weekend because we were trying to find both, fight both the heat and the humidity. Meteorologist Ben Dornbach is joining us once more. So, Ben, I'm hoping there's a little bit of a cool off involved in your seven day forecast. Luckily, our heat won't be as intense this week, but our humidity to start at least will still be very high considering what time of year it is. Satellite and radar, I want to show you the latest on Tropical Storm Cristobal that made landfall just, uh, just after 6 o'clock this evening on the southeast Louisiana coastline. Heavy rain, flash flooding, and gusty winds reported there, and it continues as uh, some of the outer bands are beginning to move inland in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Uh, some moisture will head our way, but in terms of any uh, really severe impacts from the system for us, really not expecting anything but a few showers. I'll show you what I'm talking about on Futurecast, tracking Cristobal. It takes more of a north-northwesterly direction, so the center stays well away from us. We will have some tropical moisture uh, from the southeast move our way, but that's really going to be about it. And it'll be in the form of scattered showers Tuesday and Wednesday. So neither day will be a washout, but there will definitely be on and off rain at both of those days. Then a cold front sweeps all that moisture through and that dries us up for at least a couple of days. But honest to goodness, once that moves through, things will be generally quiet from there on out. High temperatures today were high indeed, low 90s across the board, including in the mountains, Asheville reaching a high of 91, 92 in downtown Greenville, and GSP recorded 93 today. So on seasonable warmth today, temperatures continue to be in the 70s and low 80s for the entire area, and it's combined with some very high humidity. Air you can wear, as we say, low 70 degree dew points still being reported, and that's likely not going to change much. Also a factor in why we're not going to really cool down much this evening. A couple of pop-up showers and storms in the Charlotte metro area, but as far as anything local, some cloud cover moving in from the south and high pressure to the north. That's going to keep really, I mean, it's going to move to the east and that's really going to keep Cristobal from moving our way. So uh, that, but uh, well, there will be some tropical moisture, as I just said. Looking at a local view of Futurecast, a pop-up shower to this evening, certainly possible. There will be very isolated rain tomorrow, so certainly not the rainiest of days tomorrow, but certainly cloudier, still muggy, and a few areas of drizzle, some brief light shower activity, and that's going to about do it tomorrow and tomorrow night. We'll expect those showers to be a little more scattered to widespread during the day on Tuesday, and the same can be expected on Wednesday. We'll be at 72 degrees, warm and muggy tonight, along with patchy fog accompanied by light winds. 65 in the mountains with patchy fog and increasing cloud cover from the south. So we'll start the day already on a pretty uh, sultry note, but we'll end it pretty similarly just without the sun. It's not going to really allow things to get as hot as it was today, but still the humidity will be felt. 81 and 86 for afternoon high temperatures. Very, very low rain chances with patchy fog at the beginning of the day. So as we rate the day, I rated today a 9. I think we'll go a notch lower at an 8 out of 10. Nothing really threatening or nothing really wrong with the day. It just won't be the best looking day. But as far as, you know, getting out and about, getting around, really not going to be too terrible. Seven day forecast. Scattered to widespread showers on and off Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures briefly creep back up to the middle and upper 80s during those two rainy days. That's ahead of a cold front, but as it moves through, that'll dock us back a little bit. Lower middle 80s for high temperatures expected on Thursday. We'll briefly run back into the upper 80s by Friday, but lots and lots of sunshine. No rain expected both Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, we'll bring back that isolated shower or storm chance as a weak cold front moves through. It does not really look menacing at this point, and then it'll cool us back down to the upper 70s in in the mountains on Sunday with 86 being the high temperature for the upstate by then. We'll also keep uh, on, an eye on the tropics for you as uh, hurricane season continues the next couple three months. We'll let you know if anything pops up out in the uh, tropics. In the meantime, you can also watch it on The Morning News, which is 4.30 to 9 a.m. every weekday morning with weather and traffic updates every 10 minutes.